Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you the benefits of owning a big electric push sprayer compared to a backpack sprayer. However, this video is only going to pertain to people with a larger lawn. So if you have a 3,000 square foot lawn or lower, you can just you can just skip this video. Care they gone? 3,000 square feet and lower. What a bunch of sissies. <laughs> just kidding about that it doesn't matter what size of lawn you have this is this pertains to everybody so hopefully i didn't lose too many people there it was just a joke monica had a very funny joke today this is the chapin 12 gallon electric battery powered push sprayer i'm gonna go through some pros and cons i've had it for about a year I just want to do an overview in case anybody was interested. I've got a couple comments on these when I use them. So I just wanted to go over a quick review, some pros and cons, send you on your way. I'm going to listen to that, but then um, I just carried on living my life. Things that I like about it the most is how I don't have to refill my backpack sprayer every time I go to do the other section of the lawn. A normal rate is about one gallon per thousand square feet. So if you have a four gallon backpack sprayer, works perfect for 4,000 square feet or, or three or two or one. If you have a larger one, like I do, uh, 8,000 square feet, having a bigger sprayer like this allows you to get the job done faster and it's easier on your back because now I don't have to lug around a backpack sprayer on my back. Go dude. Biker. I'm an idiot. So having that benefit of just filling it up once right to that eight gallon mark, filling up with your fluids, mixing it and you're done. Here is a con to it. It is about 500 bucks um, compared to a backpack sprayer. It's about double a backpack sprayer. It's science. However, I still think the benefit of filling it up once, using it once, faster, easier on my back, I can use this for a lot longer without injury. Now your back's gonna hurt because you just pull landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? Another con to it is it takes up a lot of space. Uh, backpack sprayer doesn't take up very much space in your shed, but this does. And I added a boom sprayer to it. This is a Chapin boom sprayer. I added that to it, which obviously adds width to it. Okay, you wanna do that? The other upgrades that I made on this was a motorcycle um, ATV on off switch right by the thumb. It came with a, a, a basic switch right in the middle, but this way is easier because I can just do on and off right by my thumb. And also it was, it's a little loud. I put a foam pad around it. I just cut it out, zip tied it. Looks a little clunky, but really reduced the noise. I'm really happy with that. The boom that I added was a Chapin boom. Um, it's a little wide and I don't know if I'm quite as happy as I could be with it. Um, I might switch to a shorter spread and put some T-Jets on it. That way it's just easier to get in and out of places, stored in my shed, that kind of thing. But overall, this thing is a game changer. I really think if you got a larger lawn and you don't want back problems when you get older, this is going to be something you should save up for and get because it's just going to be great for the long run. So that is it, and as you can see, I aerated, uh, had somebody come aerate, and so it is overseed season. That will be my next video. Thank you for watching. I will see you there, or I'll see you on another time.